welcome back to my youtube channel and from the title i'm going to be talking to you guys about law school law the admissions test just how i'm prepping for it my test is in october it was going to be september but okay y'all we done had a whole bunch of stuff coming up so i had to reschedule a lot of different things okay don't judge me some of y'all about to be like priorities okay listen Fun and priorities because I'm still doing it. So I already registered for October, which is good. That was like three hundred dollars because I used up all my free waivers. Yeah, y'all. I used up all my free waivers because I registered and took the LSAT once. Okay, but I wanted to get a much better score. I felt like that was just you know practice, even though it was the real test. <laughs> then I did. I had a second waiver, but your girl did not wake up in time, and I was so mad because i didn't even log on so i'm like i should still be able to use the free waiver and it was like no your time has passed so i had to pay 300 dollars. but thank god like the stuff where it's like it's called cas and it's where like you have to buy that as well but i get a free waiver for that because it's expensive for school no but it's an investment for myself so yeah Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm about to show y'all like the process. Everything I'm using to study. Okay, so this is the first source that I'm using, which is Khan Academy. And that is my username up there, Farron Jackson 10. As you can tell, I've already started a little they bit. They even tell me my next practice test that I set up is August 9th. What you want to do, so they have the full test, they have lessons, um, and they have practice which I'm on the practice, and they give you a little, you know, timeline sort of of your progress. Now, what you want to do, they're going to ask you to set up a date of when you want to take your practice test, when you want to take the real exam, what your expected score will be. Whenever I get like a question right or a section right is usually when they mark the orange stuff, and it lets me know what else I still need practice on. But yeah, if you're familiar with the LSAT, they will have certain sections of the test labeled like strength and weaknesses, social science, wild reasoning, logic reasoning. And so it really kind of helps you put in perspective what you're good at and what you're not and what you need to study on. So that's why I really like how Which I just saw was my logic game kind of card game type thing where it's just like I do card games with myself that might sound weird but if y'all have been in school as long as I have cards are just so easy you just flip them over when it comes to studying I have been a memorization type of girl like all my life I don't do well with standardized tests or any type of test for real. With these cards, they definitely help I picked me. them up at Barnes & Noble's, less than $20. Go get you guys some. I wouldn't say they're better than the books, but it's more convenient. And they're way smaller. You can take them on the go. I'm clearly at home, so I'm just studying at home. But they definitely have different sections um, that you can use to study because everything on these cards are on the test. So like... So like Fact patterns will be on there. Game types as far as like logic games go. You also have flaws, flaw reasoning, different sections of the test. Even though you have four sections, the different type of questions within the sections, if I'm saying that correctly, are what these are labeled. So it would just really help you out like identifying what question is which and help you get the answer faster because you are timed. <laughs> okay guys, so I am doing the lesson portion today. It's a new day. So I've decided to do the lesson portion. As you can tell, the blue check marks, I have already done some, like identifying the conclusion, you know, working on disputes, identifying the technique. And so this just kind of goes through like, a whole load of logic reasoning and a little bit of reading comprehension as you can see you have many different ones and this is really really helpful because they have videos explaining it which I'm gonna show you guys 
And a minute. Following judgments conforms most closely to the principles cited by the columnist. All right, let's read these. The government should grant artists the right to create whatever works of art they want to create, so long as no one considers those works to be depraved. So Choi Se is saying, hey, uh, artists should be able to create whatever they want as long as they don't uh, offend people or are considered depraved according to certain people. That's not what the columnist is saying. He says there is, he's saying there is and should be complete freedom of thought and expression. So that means that anyone should be able to express themselves however they see fit. So here we have my law school timeline vision board. And this is the last thing that I'm going to show you guys that I'm, you know, doing to prepare myself. I have, since it's the month of August, I have done my lesson plans. I'm doing my logic reasoning, reading comprehension, just some areas that I struggle a lot in that I found out from the last LSAT. Now, I did mark down some of the good areas that I've been improving on, which is the flaw of reasoning and social sciences, so that's good. I always like to make a hint of, you know, what have I done better this time? What have I done worse? And it just gives me a better outlook on things. So, in September, I've been invited to an academic and leadership law retreat, which I'm so, so excited because it's a state that I plan on going to hopefully next year. So I'm just really excited. Um, and it's a really good opportunity for future lawyers. So yes. Now classes for the fall, they're a mixture of like kind of law classes as well as my community health classes go and so I just wrote that down because that's just like a you know bonus for me like I'm getting my foot in the door I'm almost there you know I, I kind of make my little side notes for it. now in October that's when I take the real LSAT exam my second time and then we have also in October I am planning on deciding you know which law school I want to go to I'm limiting I'm limiting my options based off of tuition for out of state in state which is why I have those bullet points there and then you know I'm connecting with the law school eboard members because you know if you're an eboard member that is like really huge in law school which hopefully I want to do once I get there so you know just mapping my way out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the best channel out here doing it. <laughs> nah. But um, yeah, if you like law, traveling, fashion, you know, fashion hauls, <laughs> when I get clothes, if you just like what I've been posting so far on my channel, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 400 by the end of this year. So subscribe, please. Um, and yeah, I'll be going to the LL Cool J concert with my mama because that's her man's. I only know him from acting, so this would be interesting. I'm just there to vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> I'm just there to vibe. But I've also noticed you guys have been hitting me up on TikTok. And my TikTok is Jackson 98 with one H. I'll put all my social media in the description below for you guys. So that everybody knows a lot of questions in regards to medical law, medical lawyer, criminal law, criminal lawyer, and I'm here to help whatever I can. I'm not a lawyer just yet, but I have been in the paralegal field, the um, medical malpractice, um, you know, as far as legal secretary, paralegal. So I've been in those kind of fields. So, and I have been supervised under uh, like real attorneys, guys. So I could definitely help you guys out um, if you have any questions. And baby girl's here for you. Now, anything regarding law school, I don't know because I'm trying to go to law school. So I don't know. <laughs> but um, I do have friends in actual law school. So, you know. But anyways, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you later.